attention, marketplace shoppers. We're taking over this grocery store. We're just outside Toronto. Our crews are all over the store setting up cameras. You know why? Because these aisles have secrets. Rolling. Companies are playing games with what you buy at their grocery store, and you're often on the losing end, trying to figure out what they're up to. This is a shopping trip that'll rattle your cart. Beep, beep. We have to start without taking your mother out. <laughs> A no-holds-barred competition to find products that are shrinking and show how the companies do it. Right now on Marketplace, Grocery Games. Welcome to our first ever Grocery Games. Three contestants going head to head, helping us expose the tactics some companies don't want you to know. I've noticed that some of the uh, products are shrinking. The packages are getting smaller, but the prices are staying the same. When the product goes down in size and the price doesn't, that's when I become concerned. It's frustrating. So how do you beat the downsizing game? That's what our contestants are about to find out. Let's meet them now. First up, a mom and son duo, Ginny and Ewan Finbo from Brampton, Ontario. I'm a busy mom of two. And I'm here to win. We're competing today because I want to show you and how the groceries are shrinking. We're in it to oh, win man. it. Oh! <laughs> Next up, Kimberly Clancy from Toronto. I'm a savvy shopper. I like to shop smart. I like to win. And from Burlington, Ontario, our third contestant, Bernie Kern. I'm retired and I do some of the family grocery shopping. It's becoming much more difficult to try and determine whether you're getting a deal or not. Welcome shoppers. Nice Hi. to have you here. Our first ever grocery games. Your challenge, find products that have been downsized. The shopper who finds the most products in the time allowed wins $50,000. Wow. We don't have that kind of money, but we do have a lovely prize. The winner gets a one-of-a-kind, beautiful Marketplace shopping bag. Oh, that's good. It's very fashionable. Are you up for it? Yes. 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 Ready to go? I'm game. Absolutely. To the carts. We're ready. We're going to have a clock on you guys. You have 15 minutes to load your carts. Are you ready? Yes. Ready. You're really ready? Really ready. ready. Set. Shop. And away they go! We have to start with them taking your mother out. <laughs> we want to win very, very badly because we want the consumers to know what's going on in the stores. We're going to look for more than the other teams. Down here, come on. I think that being a mother and an active shopper for the last 15 years that I know more about downsizing products than Bernie. I don't think I have anything in this one. I give it my best shot, but even this is a new store, so even finding the things in the store is going to be an issue. I don't have a shot in town. You can't cover a game without an expert analyst. And with me is one of North America's leading and most outspoken consumer advocates, Edgar Dworsky. Edgar, nice Hi, to see you. nice to meet you. Listen, you've been looking at shrinking products for 20 years now. At least. Over that time, his collection of downsized items has gotten big. Toilet paper has been downsized for decades. This one is 20 years old. It came from my little museum archive <laughs> of old toilet paper. This one is a current version of Charmin, but look at that decrease in a 20-year period. It's Each amazing. sheet has gotten shorter and narrower, but you don't see this 20-year difference in the store. You don't see them side by side. Dworsky is a consumer protection lawyer in the U.S. It's a very sneaky way to pass on a price increase. Think about it. You're buying an item, you're getting less, you're paying the same price. That's a backdoor price increase. Dworsky's made it his mission to expose this practice, and he'll help us unpack the grocery gimmicks he believes companies use to make sure you don't notice. It's very hard to see, and that's part of the game that's going on. Manufacturers know that consumers are price conscious, so if they raise the price, oh, the consumer's gonna know that, but if they decrease the contents, consumers don't notice as readily. Let's see if our shoppers are noticing. 
I'm nine, and I've noticed that there are lots of shrinking things. Kimberly already knows that someone's cut the cheese. These used to be 500 grams, now they're 450. That's because she's got game. 460 grams, they've been shrinking for years. You can even see that these ones are shrunk already, again. Yep, Cracker Barrel's down from 500 grams to 460. Black Diamond's also been shaved. Bernie feels burned. Picking cheese was because it looks like it's smaller. It used to be 500 grams, and now they're 450. Should we check the cheese? Yeah. All right. Run, 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 run. Cheese, 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 cheese. 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 The cheese sizes are getting smaller, but they're charging either more or the same. Kim's smoking out the bacon now. This was 500 grams, now it's 375. That's a 25% decrease. And look who's right behind her. To make our games even more challenging, we've stocked the shelves with some downsized products you told us about. Red Rose Tea. Here's the old and the new, side by side. Will our group spot the difference? Attention, Marketplace shoppers. Coffee and tea. I think that is in aisle, let's see, aisle number, oh, you'll figure it out. You're on your own. <laughs> Great. Here's another one that shrunk a couple of times. The makers of Maxwell House say better beans mean less is needed. Will our shoppers find the reduced red rose? Not so far. Our experts not surprised. That's because of grocery gimmick number one on Edgar Dworsky's list. He says packages may be redesigned so that you won't notice there's less inside. Manufacturers are trying to fool consumers by giving you less in a package that often looks almost identical to the original larger one. If it's the same price and the package looks the same, consumer has no reason to, to doubt that they're getting the same amount as I got before, but that's where they get you. And you brought us something from the US to demonstrate? Apple Jacks cereal. Now, again, you don't see these side by side in the store, but they look identical. They do. One of them is two ounces less. How do they do it? They made the package narrower. Pretty soon it's gonna be so narrow, I don't know how it's gonna stand up on the shelf. You're able to see through it. Apple Jacks haven't been downsized in Canada yet. But Kimberly's hunting for another cereal she knows has been downsized here, Frosted Flakes. This one's a product that's recently shrunk, but it hasn't come to this grocery store yet. Or so she thinks. She turns a corner and great news. Ah, here we go, I found them. The ones on the shelves are 440 grams. These ones are 425. Kimberly's caught a break. You don't always get the chance to compare old against new right in the store. We put them side by side so you can see for yourself. It's not transparent. It's not obvious to the Canadian consumer, so I would say it's a little sneaky. Is it sneaky? Kate White's a professor of marketing and consumer behavior at UBC. She says companies are just trying to avoid sticker shock. What will often happen is costs for the company will go up. So one thing they could do is increase the price for the consumer. The other thing they can do is decrease their costs in other ways. And what companies know from careful testing is that consumers are very, very sensitive to price changes. What's happening is they're decreasing the amount of product in the package rather than raising the price for the consumer. Back at the race, it's full speed ahead. The contestants seem to have a game plan. That's really tricky, because the boxes are the, basically the same. You have to always read the fine print, you and, yep. Let's see, what else? What else, what else, what else? Come on. Meantime, Bernie's plugging away, hoping the pet aisle is solid ground. Fancy feast, cat food. Sorry, Bernie, that cat food hasn't been downsized. We're keeping track, and not every item they're picking up has shrunk. Attention, marketplace shoppers. You might want to spend some time in the paper aisle. I need the toilet paper. That's not the toilet paper. I'm missing the toilet paper. Paper products, that's what we need. Our grocery games are heating up. Down here, come on. They'll roll on. OK. As we roll out more grocery gimmicks. Well, they try to make you think you're buying the same old product, but they've pulled some packaging tricks on you. But first, we're going retro. 
This isn't the first time Marketplace has hit the aisles revealing grocery games. Telecast December 14th, 72. Good luck. Oh yes, we are the people running in the race, buying up the bargains in the old Marketplace. Yep, even in our very first season, we found shrinking products. And save a lot of money, spending money we don't got. There are really only two ways for a manufacturer to raise his prices. He can inflate the price tag, or he can deflate the contents of his package or container. If he inflates the price tag, it's often hard to avoid noticing. Now, if he deflates the contents, the price hike can sometimes sneak right past you. Here are three examples. Same story. When Noxima mouthwash increased in price last week at McDermott's, this 81 cent bottle became a $1.45 bottle, a healthy and noticeable hike. And when Brilliant Seafood in Boston raised the price of its cooked shrimp, they cut back on contents and reduced the package size, so the package price appeared to remain constant. But at least they explained what was really a 20% price hike with a message on the package that said, Dear customer, as you probably have noticed, Brilliant Seafood has reduced the size of the package from 10 to 8 ounces. This was done because of the world shortage of shrimp. Back then, some were upfront about downsizing. Candid, eh? Compare how Warner Lambert handled its decision to hike prices on its Listerine mouthwash. They hit a 10% markup in price by shrinking their 20-ounce bottle to an 18-ounce bottle without changing the $1.99 price. Wouldn't most people prefer the courtesy of Brilliant Seafood's forthright approach to the cynicism of the unannounced shrinking content approach? Well, Joan, that was then. But how about now? Well, only one of those products is still sold in Canada, Listerine. How has it changed? Okay, the math is kind of complicated, but accounting for inflation and the metric system, we've calculated that the price of Listerine has actually gone down about 61% over the years. Now that's refreshing news. Which grocery item was one of the first ever downsized? Tweet us your answer. Attention marketplace shoppers. The contestants in our first grocery games are entering the stretch. Beep, beep. They're in a race to find the most shrinking products. The infamous can of apple juice. This used to be a lot taller. Though the prices aren't always shrinking with them. OK. Our downsizing expert, Edward Dworsky, says the companies know exactly what they're doing. They try to make you think you're buying the same old product, but they've pulled some packaging tricks on you. We've stocked the shelves with some examples of what he's talking about. Here's Ivory Body Wash, the one with the new formula. Was 709 milliliters, now 621. Will Bernie find it? Nope. And that points us to grocery gimmick number two on Edgar Dworsky's list. He says companies may use words such as new and improved so you don't notice downsizing. New formula, ivory body wash. Sometimes they will say a product is new and improved, but they've changed the packaging itself. So you'll see new or new and improved or new look. That's up in the corner. They take your eye away from the bottom corner where you really should be looking. It may be more sophisticated than that. Kate White is an expert in consumer behavior. She says there's a little psychology going on here. They'll change the product shape somehow, and it'll say new and improved on the package. Consumers will notice that the package has changed, but it looks like something positive. It's something to be excited about, and the consumer won't necessarily know that the, the quantity of the product inside has changed. Ginny doesn't see anything positive about that. Is it a new improved formula or a new improved size? And if it's the size, I'd say not so improved. Not much improvement in the paper aisle, either. The toilet paper. Kimberly doesn't like the squeeze that Charmin is putting on her. The squares have been shrinking, so you get the same amount of sheets, but the square size has actually been changing. And Cottonelle is short sheeting you, too. Down to 166 from 176 sheets in the regular size, and to 216 from 230 in the larger size. Bernie's onto that, too. They're a little bit narrower. 
Our shopper's 15 minutes of game is almost up. Now, Doesn't look like look. he's doing very good. And Bernie is still playing catch up. Fritz biscuits are down to 200 grams. Okay, we have a lot of stuff. We're checking, and not all their stuff has shrunk. Over in the chip aisle. The chips were 255. They used to be 270. These ones have shrunk too. They're down 20 grams. They were 200, now they're 180. Kate White says some companies experiment with how low they can go. Marketers will often do tests to figure out how much can I change this product before the consumer is going to notice and, and the consumer is going to get upset. Okay, let's look down here. Cookies! Yeah. Chocolate chips sound good to Ginny and her son. Well, if they shrink cookies, that's the end of the world for a kid. No kidding, especially for me. I love cookies. Sorry, Ewan. Some cookies do crumble in size. Chips White cookies used to be 325, now they're 300. Actually, even more than that, from 350 to 300. Attention, marketplace shoppers, time's almost up. Our first grocery games are almost at the finish. Pick up the pace, Ewan. I guess that's all she wrote. Ah, me pants. Who will be our grocery games champion? And we reveal our final grocery gimmick. And that's really underhanded. Have you spotted a shrinking product? Add it to our grocery list on Facebook and Twitter. We're challenging three shoppers in a game of wits. Now, Doesn't look like look. he's doing very good. Mm -hmm. Going head to head to see who can find grocery items that are shrinking. But the price, maybe not. Attention, Marketplace shoppers, time's almost up. Our first grocery games are almost at the finish. Pick up the pace, Ewan. I already have everything on my list. I'm just looking, because sometimes you can actually see it on the shelf. Whoever has the highest total goes home with a one-of-a-kind prize. The bag awaits. Just a bag? I'm very excited to win that shopping bag. <laughs> We've got a ton of these little shopping bags at home already. We really want that grocery bag. Well, yeah. Anything helps, I guess. <laughs> hey, Marketplace shoppers, you only got one minute left. One minute on the clock. Um. Ah, me pants. I guess that's all she wrote. Oh, that way? Sorry. Here come our shoppers. Come on, beat them. Clock's running. Go, 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 go. Five, four, three, two, one. Step away from the cart. Perfect. Before we count everything up, see how you did? I'm gonna call in our expert. This is Edgar Dworski. He's been following this stuff, downsizing items for decades. So, what do you think? This is absolutely amazing. I see coffee here, I see cereal, cookies, potato chips. All these items have been downsized periodically in the United States and apparently up here also. The usual suspects. Absolutely. Pretty popular. But they've all missed one item on the shelf. It's tea time. Both boxes contain 72 bags. So what's the downsize? Your carts are full, but you don't have this. Red Rose. This is the new one, this is the old one. Have a look. Notice anything different? Box is shorter. And maybe a little bit thinner? Then, after a closer look. There's still 72 bags, but, but the amount per, the per grams bag. has changed. So I still get 72 cups of tea, but I don't have as much tea leaves. <laughs> Bingo. The new box is 18 grams lighter. That's about six fewer bags. Pity. And that's Dworsky's grocery gimmick number three. He says a combination of new packaging, words, and graphics can fool you. That's really underhanded because I'm automatically drawn to the 72, but I would have to look at it really up close to read the fine print. I don't drink Red Rose, but for me, that's just annoying because I want more tea. Red Rose does confirm there's less tea in the box, but says it's changed the blend and the bag to make it richer. Bernie, for one, is doubtful. They're going to come up with something that makes it seem legitimate. But is it really? Dworsky's not buying it either. 
Imagine how many millions of boxes they sell of this. 18 grams won't be missed by most consumers, but 18 grams times how many million boxes a year, the company's gonna save a lot of money by doing that. The makers of these downsized brands won't come on camera to explain their grocery games, but they and other companies tell us they're dealing with rising costs, trying to improve product quality, or in some cases, both. When they refuse to talk to Marketplace, the biggest question is, there's, are they trying to hide something? They're trying to be deceptive. I'm not surprised at all that they decided not to come on camera. What Mummy says is, um, money does not make happiness. Well then, maybe happiness is a Marketplace shopping bag. We put you all through your paces. You did a great job. So good. Edgar, I don't know what to do. How do we pick a winner of this car? They're all great. I think it's too close to call. So a three-way tie? Three-way tie. <laughs> Excellent. Fortunately, I have more than one bag. So there you go. Perfect. One for you, Ginny, Kimberly, Thank you. and Bernie. Thank you very much. Excellent job. Tom, are you going to help me bag the groceries and take them out to my car? Glad to do it. To the checkout we go. Lead on, Ewan. I'm going to be go out and I'm going to be a smart shopper with my marketplace bag. It's made me a better shopper. I'll be more vigilant in the future, I think. We all found products that shrunk. So really, everybody's a winner or a loser. Wh whichever. <laughs> Rose. And so we declare the first ever Marketplace Grocery Games officially closed. Coming soon on Marketplace. You look wounded. Home DNA kits say they can predict your chance of getting sick. But can the results be used against you? Nothing is more private than your genetic makeup. And... I'm nervous. Um, never had anything like this before. A personal journey into the world of memory. What can help and what can hurt. If people are looking to train their brains, then I don't think it's as easy as they might think it is. Marketplace returns April 3rd.